The tux is always in fashion. I mean, Yves Saint Laurent brought it to women and really it's just an essential part of someone's wardrobe. But it's particularly in fashion right now. Just going through resort trends and kind of seeing what's going to come up for spring. It's kind of like a preview. Everyone was doing some sort of version of the tuxedo and we thought it'd be fun to kind of break it down and not just be the typical smoking jacket or classic tuxedo, but make it more modern. I hired Kevin Sinclair, who's our photographer, and we thought with tuxedos, we just wanted you know, straight clean lines and very just high fashion. So Kevin was a, a good choice. I tried not to go with a girl that would be too masculine, a girl that looked um, very much feminine, but, uh, but had something strong about her. To me, there's always like a, a little bit of a sexual tension with tuxedo dressing. You know, it's a, a woman doing the man thing, but she's a woman. So it's a back and forth, back and forth. In terms of tuxedos being maybe too masculine, you can always make it more feminine with a flirty, roughly blouse instead of your classic tux blouse. Or we paired, you know, one look with a long skirt to make it, you know, a little bit different. Or you can even just have that tuxedo look by adding, you know, a cummerbund to a great dress. Really fun, colorful accessories or cute shoes, bags, things that have color and a lot of punch to them. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it for work, it goes very easily from day to night. It's just a sort of classic piece and you can riff on it as a lot of modern designers have done, uh, but it's just an essential thing you really need in your closet. We're doing a big three-part series uh, in January, February and March about how to get the job you actually want. Not the job that's available, not the job that you think will take you, but the job you actually want. One of the top industries that I found that's still hiring is healthcare. That's only going to continue to boom as, you know, we're getting like baby boomers, people are getting older. There are industries that are still hiring in the U.S. and abroad, and they might not come as a big surprise, but they are worth taking note of, especially if you're thinking of maybe taking a class in that area, going back to school, or tailoring your skill set to maybe fit one of these industries. I think we just wanted to kind of put out there that sense that, you know, yes, things are bleak, no, you're not alone, and then kind of send our readers out there with a kind of style, a sense of humor, and, and prepare for what's to come. There is this sense of doom and gloom that is so pervasive. The number one thing that young women can do today is look for the positive. Nicole Williams is sort of a career guru, best-selling author of career guides for women. She has a really great website. The website is NicoleWilliams.com and every day new articles that are relevant and entertaining in and around career. Well, I do think it's a very difficult time but I don't think that should um, let people keep them down. Just you know keep on looking for what's out there. Always look your best, be professional and eye contact and smile. I mean, certainly there are certain scenarios where you just need to have the money, but if you're looking for a career, I think it's just as important to make sure that that's, they're right for you, that you are for them. I think you have to be really careful on your resume that you don't want to embellish things or certainly not to have any flat out lies because I think it will come back to bite you. In February and March, we look at reinventing yourself. Uh, career-wise and we also look at your sort of own personal plan B maybe this is the time you decide you do want to have a baby or you want to get in an RV with your best friend and travel across America so maybe this is the time to figure out how you can afford to take a bit of time off and do something else which is life enhancing 